Municipality of Esquimalt surveyor Peter Jacobs may not be internationally famous, but he has something in common with Nielsen and Begley. He drives an electric pickup truck to work as well. He converted his Chevy S10 in the fall of 1992. Since then, he's driven it more than 16,000 kilometers. I've had people pull up beside me and, and wave and roll down the window and say, uh, electric car, finally, where can I buy one? And, uh, quite a few people think it's a production car. And uh, when I explain it's just a, a home-built one off the run, they, they're quite disappointed. Jacobs only insures his gasoline car for long-distance trips. I went into it... Uh, sort of as a, as a hobby project, uh, never intending it to use it a lot, uh, sort of as a novelty item. And uh, once I got it on the road, it proved to be so reliable that uh, we used it most of the time. My daughter learned to drive on it, took her driving test on it, in fact. And, well, how did that go? Uh, well, the instructor was a little thrown off, but she didn't say anything. So, uh, And she, my daughter passed her test, so I guess that was the main thing, yeah. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, very little maintenance. Um, I think this vehicle would put the term grease monkey at an end. Peter's wife, Ula, also drives the truck. She's a doubter turned believer. Well, I think this kind of vehicle is for everyone, and especially important for our environment. I think we really have to look at this seriously. It's uh, talked about by the auto companies that it can't be done, and it won't be done, and it costs a lot of money to do, and I... I really believed that you could do it economically and, and with existing technology, so I thought, well, I'm going to get out there and do it. Well, I'm hoping other people are reading the sign on my door and taking the hint that one day when uh, electric cars are produced, that they will come out and support them and buy them and use them.